Wine Down and Wine. I'm your host, Eric. Thanks along for following along and liking this with your friend. Today we are in Heartland, New Brunswick, uh, home of the Russet Potato, where we're going to meet with Ryan Albright, the President and CEO of Covered Bridge Potato Chips. He's going to walk us through on the production line how they make them. He's fourth generation in the family and uh, keeping some traditional traditions going for the business. So let me know what you think. Thanks for following along. Well, I want to welcome you for joining me at uh, Cover Bridge Potato Chips. I'm the President and CEO. Uh, my name is Ryan Albright, and uh, we just started our, into our third year of operation. And this is just one of our bags of chips in the bowling here right now. And we started, this little panel just shows you um, how we started. Uh, we started in the early 1920s by my great grandfather, and he started potato farming. And we're now the fourth generation of potato farmers, so we grow about 500 acres of potatoes at our farm which uh, we use a great portion of those to make it in chips here at the factory. Uh, and our farm's located about 10 minutes from here. Uh, our factory's all designed around tourism. And this summer, was our second summer, we had about 200 tour buses through and about 20,000 people. So hopefully after a few, uh, few people get to see this, they'll get a chance to uh, come and visit us. Actually, when we do guided tours, I try to do a lot of them myself. And uh, typically not dressed like this when I, uh, when I do the tour. I have a straw hat and overalls, and uh, so I play, uh, play my farmer part that I grew up with. And uh, so we hope, to, you know, we hope to see everybody come through. But if you, we'll take a couple minutes, I'll take you through and show you a little bit. How many name is Cover Bridge Potato Chips? And we named it after the longest cover bridge in the world here in Heartland. This is how the bridge looks today. And uh, that's what it looked like uh, about uh, a little over 100 years ago. And it was built in 1901. And there's a few stories that uh, go along with the bridge. We have to come take the tour to find out. So while you're here, you're going to get uh, get a chance to learn how we grow potatoes on our farm. So we've got uh, video here. We videotape everything from the start of when we start growing potatoes in the spring to when we harvest them, and then to when we move the potatoes and wash them and grade them in the winter time. So you get to see all of this. My, myself, my brother, uh, my father, my uncle, my grandfather. Everybody's on the video, you know, pitching in and helping out. So you're in luck today. Uh, today we're doing uh, sweet potatoes, so we only do those every couple of weeks. So you actually get a chance to see uh, how we make them. But uh, you can see the size of them. When we get sweet potatoes, they're jumbo, so they're really, really big. So we have to cut them up in small pieces in order to slice them. And uh, right now we get them from North Carolina, but uh, we are working with the Department of Agriculture on uh, seeing if we can grow them here in New Brunswick. So we're going to be on our third year test trials here at our farm, and we'll see how we make out. All right, so there's our kettle cooker. You see all the steam that's coming out. Uh, potatoes are 80% water, so we're, we've got to cook all that water out. Uh, and we do have a big uh, dehumidification system in our factory and we try to keep it around 50 to 60% relative humidity in the building. That way it keeps all the, all the steel dry, all of our boxes nice and dry, uh, and we don't create condensation. So. What's a good pairing with, uh, with your chips? <laughs> it would depend on the uh, it depend on the flavor of chip as well. Cool. So uh, you know if you have a if you have a sea salt chip, you know uh, just a light beer goes well. But if you're doing a, a barbecue, you might want to go with a bitter beer or something a stronger tasting beer. It's a, it's a, it's a russet variety. All right. So the final stage is uh, they're going to put the after the chips are packaged, they're going to put them in the boxes and then we're going to ship them to stores uh, all over Canada and in uh, the U.S. as well. So you can find us in. Every province in Canada, including the Yukon, and you can find us in a lot of these U.S. states. We keep adding uh, new states every day. Uh, we're in a lot of the southern states, but to find out more specifically where we are, we try to update our store locator, which is at uh, CoverBridgeChips.com. And don't forget to join us on Facebook and Twitter as well uh, for all the best updates and what, uh, what's new in our world. And don't forget about the tastiest tour you can take. Thank mm -hmm. you.